Ladies and gentlemen, it's back. Oh, yes, Star Wars is back. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Star Wars The Force Awakens. So Star Wars The Force Awakens is directed by J.J. Abrams. The film stars Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Oscar Isaac. Star Wars The Force Awakens takes place three decades after the events of Return of the Jedi. The scavenger named Rey, the stormtrooper named Finn and along the way when they meet Han Solo and Chewbacca it's up to this team to go ahead and stop the First Order from this plan that they have and that's all I'm going to really say about Star Wars The Force Awakens because there's definitely a lot more to this storyline. Star Wars The Force Awakens of course it's a film I'd be excited for. I love Star Wars. I have reviewed the Star Wars prequels and the Star Wars original films. If you want to see how I feel about each of those films you can look it up on my channel. So with Star Wars The Force Awakens I just couldn't wait for this film. I was hoping this could be a film that would get me excited to be in the Star Wars world. How did J.J. Abrams do? The guy that pretty much brought back the Star Wars universe? It felt so good to be in the Star Wars universe, you guys. Star Wars The Force Awakens is such an engaging start to the new saga. One thing I have to say is that the performances from everyone were really great. Daisy Ridley is fantastic as Rey. She is a strong female character. She's a very courageous young woman. And this backstory that is explored when it comes to this character, like the things we learn about her, is very, very interesting. And I really liked how the film explored her. Daisy Ridley, she just did such a great job here. I was very impressed by her. John Boyega is also fantastic as Finn. He is the comic relief. He has a lot of funny moments. And I thought he nailed the comedic moments very well, but he's also another character that you can have some sympathy for. And it's very interesting to follow the story of a stormtrooper because that hasn't really happened in the other Star Wars films where you're following the story of a stormtrooper. So to see that with John Boyega was actually very refreshing. He was a character that I also really cared about. And that's definitely very important when you're introducing new characters. But as far as new characters go, I really cared about Rey. I really cared about Finn. And I really loved following these characters. And I really love this friendship that they have. There's no romantic connections between these two. It's just a nice normal friendship and I really appreciate that. And speaking of a new character, Oscar Isaac as Poe, who is this X-Wing pilot, he's also fantastic in this film. I really liked him. Would have liked to see a little bit more of him, but I'm pretty sure we will with the other films. But for what we got of him, he was also really great. And of course, it is so great to see Harrison Ford back as Han Solo. And of course, it's so good to see Chewbacca. I love these characters and to see them back was just so wonderful. I just felt this sense of magic when I saw these two back on screen. And Harrison Ford, he still felt like Han Solo and I truly do admire that. It was just so great to see Rey and Finn tag along on this adventure with Han Solo and Chewbacca. The special effects in Star Wars The Force Awakens are truly something to praise because they do such a brilliant job of blending in the CGI effects. Like when the CGI is needed, it's definitely there. But then when the film blends in with the more practical effects, it is truly truly terrific. The cinematography in this film from beginning to end is gorgeous. Like this is definitely some of the best cinematography in the Star Wars universe and J.J. Abrams did such a great job directing this film. There's some very relaxing shots because some shots 
you could tell that he would take his time with for you to really feel like you're immersed in his world. That's something that he really did a successful job at. Kylo Ren was so intimidating. I was very impressed with the way he turned out. Um, Darth Vader is still my favorite villain and I'll get into one specific reason why later but Kylo Ren was just a refreshing villain to introduce into his universe. Of course, yes, you even get Carrie Fisher back, who is now General Leia. She was fantastic here. Really great to see Carrie Fisher. And there were some nice, heartwarming moments that she definitely added without spoiling anything. And it definitely shows that Carrie Fisher can actually still act after all of these years. John Williams' score I also thought was really great. I thought it flowed well, for the most part, with the scenes going on. There is a few scenes where I felt like the score was kind of rushing as well as that certain scene that may be rushing but for the most part I actually did really like John Williams' score. It brought back definitely that Star Wars magic for sure. And I also do appreciate the fact that while this film does borrow elements from A New Hope, it never felt like a ripoff in my opinion. I know there are people out there that have problems with that, but personally I saw it as a way for them to pay a tribute to A New Hope. I still felt like this film as a whole was standing on its own. It didn't feel like a ripoff in any way of A New Hope. Yes, certain elements may seem familiar, but this film as a whole, it's a whole different storyline. And this whole different storyline that is presented on the screen, I thought it was actually very well handled. It was very well executed. And not to mention, I loved BB-8. BB-8 is such an adorable character. He's basically the mini R2-D2, and he was just another wonderful addition. Definitely a character I honestly fell in love with right away. The minute I saw this character, I already loved him. BB-8 was just so great. And the climax, when you get to that lightsaber fight scene, wow, I was utterly speechless. It was hands down one of the most exciting scenes I've seen in the entire Star Wars universe. Now as enthusiastic as I am for Star Wars The Force Awakens because trust me I am so happy with the way this film turned out. I am not going to deny that I did actually have some problems with Star Wars The Force Awakens. Alright so my first problem with Star Wars The Force Awakens is that Captain Phasma, General Hux, Maz Katana, and Supreme Leader Snook, all those characters felt wasted. I didn't really feel like the film gave them that much screen time for them to be explored more. Yes, granted, you got the sequels to do that, but as far as this film goes, those characters, I didn't really think they served much of a purpose. And granted, the performances were still good, like Lupita Nyong'o, who does the motion capture and a voice for Maz Katana. She was really great, but when you get to this character, I just didn't really see that much of a point to her. And the CGI on that character was just a little bit off in my opinion. Regarding Kylo Ren, and this goes back to what I said about him not being as good as Darth Vader. I did say that Kylo Ren was intimidating. He really was intimidating. He was the villain I was hoping he would be. Unfortunately, that was only the first half of the film. Once he actually takes off his mask by the second half of the film, you know, where you actually get to see Adam Driver in his form, I was actually very let down. I didn't think from there Kylo Ren was intimidating. I think him taking off his mask took away a lot of the intimidation that this villain had. I really loved him in the first half. It's just too bad that once he did take off his mask, that for the second half, I wasn't really intimidated by this villain at all. Also, something I have to surprisingly say, the blasting scenes weren't as well executed as I thought they could have because, don't get me wrong, when you see the stormtroopers blasting, for example, any scene that deals with blasting, yeah, of course, it's cool and all. But execution-wise, something about those blasting scenes did feel off in my opinion. There's also one element they did use from a new hope that I felt was so unnecessary and that's when you get to the ending of The Force Awakens. Of course those that have seen this film know what I'm talking about 
but this certain element they used from A New Hope that we got to see at the end of Force Awakens, I didn't think that was necessary. And then there are some scenes that do feel rushed. Here and there, the film can get predictable. There is one moment in this film that I found to be extremely predictable, and it was in the climax. It's a very major moment. The way this moment was executed, it felt rushed to me, and I found it predictable that this certain moment was going to happen in the climax. And then the unfortunate thing about The Force Awakens is that this film tries to build an emotional weight like it wants me to feel something but unfortunately I didn't really feel that much of the emotional weight with this film like I would have liked to so overall you guys Star Wars The Force Awakens is a very fun very engaging movie it is very well written it's very well directed by J.J. Abrams the film brings back that Star Wars magic I felt like I was in the Star Wars universe again I was so invested with these characters the cast was great the special effects both practical and CGI were fantastic the score was great the film has a great climax the ending without spoiling anything was terrific. I definitely can't wait to see the sequels to this saga of the Star Wars universe because that's going to be so exciting, you guys. I'm going to give Star Wars The Force Awakens three out of four stars. I thought this was a solid, good Star Wars movie. It made me so happy to be back in the Star Wars universe. Oh, yeah. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I would also love to give a shout out to Brian Mendoza because on Facebook, I did type guess my rating for Star Wars The Force Awakens and he was actually able to guess my rating. So Brian Mendoza, shout out to you. And he has a really great channel, you guys. If you want to check that channel out, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have tiger power and may the force be with you.